I welcome you all my dear students. Today we are going to solve exercise 5.2. Question number 1. Principal is given to you 4000. Time is given to you 3 years. Rate is given to you 5 years. And here we need to find out the amount. You know the formula of amount. The formula of amount is principal 1 plus rate by 100 whole to the power n. Now we know that 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. 0 are 0. At last we are having 4000. Here it is nothing means 1. So we are having 1 by 1 plus 1 by 20 whole cube. On further solving, we will be getting 4000, 20 will be the LCM. So 20 ones are 20 plus 1 ones are 1, whole cube. So finally, we are getting amount as 4000 into 21 upon 20 whole cube. So now we will further multiply that is 4000 into the cube of 21 is 9261 and the cube of 20 is 8000. So all three zero is going to be cancelled with each other. The last one is 4 ones are 4, 4 to the 8. So now what is half of 9 to 6 1? That will be the amount. So when we will do half of 9 to 6 1, we will be getting 4630 rupees and 50 paise. That is the amount. Question number 2 is principal is rupees 4000, time is 2 years and the rate is 6 percent. We need to find out the amount for the same. So again you know the formula of amount. The formula of amount is principal 1 plus rate by 100 whole to the power n now here it will become 2 3 is 6 2 5 is 10 2 0 is 0 then on further solving we will be having 4000 into 50 and 1 that same will be 50 50 as a 50 and 3 ones are 3 now we'll doing the whole square for that that is 4000 into 53 upon 50 whole square now we will doing the whole square 4000 into the square of 53, the square of 53 is 2809 divided by the square of 50 is 2500. 2 zero is going to be cancelled with each other and then 5 eights are 40 and then 5 fives are 25. Finally, the amount we are getting is 8 into 2809 divided by 5. So, what is the amount? So, first we will multiply 8 with 2809. And how much we are getting? We are getting 22,472. Now when we will divide it with 5, we will get the answer. That is 4,494 and 40 percent. This is the required amount. Now question number 3 is principal is rupees 800, time is 3 years and the rate is 5 percent. We need to find out the compound interest. Before knowing compound interest, we should know what is the amount. You know the formula of amount, principal. 1 plus rate by 100 whole to the power n. Now this will become 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 zeros are 0. Here it is nothing means 1. So this will become 800 into 20 will be the answer. 20 ones are 20 and 1 ones are 1. So this will become 800 into 20 plus 1 is 21 by 20 whole cube. Now again you know that cube of 21 is 9 to 6 1 and the cube of 20 is 8000. So all 2 0 is going to be cancelled and 8 tens are 80. So on dividing it with 10, we are getting the amount as 926 rupees and 10 paise. This is the amount. Now we need to find out the CI. The formula of CI is amount minus principal. Amount we are having is 926 rupees and 10 paise. And the principal given to us was 800 rupees. On subtracting, we are getting 126 rupees and 10 paise. This is the required CI. Now next question number 4 is calculate the compound interest. Again principal is given as 2048. Time is 3 hours and the rate is given as 6 1 by 4 percent per annum. Which can also be written as 6 for the 24 plus 1 is 25 by 4 percent. Now first for calculating compound interest we should know what is the amount. The formula of amount is principal 1 plus rate by 100 into whole to the power n. Now you know that 25 ones are 25, 25 fours are 100. On further solving, we are having 2048 into 1 by 1. Here it is nothing means that is 1 upon 4 for the 16. Now I'll take out the LCM that is 2048 into the LCM of 16 and 1 is 16. 16 1 the 16, 1 1 the 1. So the amount on calculating we are having 2048 into 16 plus 1 is 17 upon 16 ka whole cube. Now 2048, what is the cube of 17? The cube of 17 is 4913. 
here let it be 16 into 16 into 16 so that we can calculate it on dividing 2048 with 16 we are getting the answer as 128 so we'll write down in 128 and again it will be divided by 16 and the answer will be 8 this time and you know that 8 ones are 8 and 8 to the 16 so the final we are getting answer is the half of 4913 if we take out we will get the actual amount that is 2456 rupees and 50 paise this is the amount now again i told you that the formula of ci is amount minus principal so amount minus principal will do it to get us what is the ci 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 0 is 5 6 cannot be subtracted with 8 so here it will become carry forward one 16 this will become 4 16 minus 8 is 8 4 minus 4 is 0 and here it will be 4 so what is the required ci the required ci is 408 rupees and 50 paise question number 5 again find compound interest on rupees 5000 rate is 10% time is 4 hours first we should know what is the amount the formula of amount is principal 1 plus rate by 100 whole to the power n that is 0 0 will get cancelled and finally we will be having 5000 into 1 by 1 plus 1 by 10 whole to the power 4 now on further solve we will be having 5000 10 will be the LCM 10 ones are 10 plus 1 ones are 1 whole to the power 4 then we are having 5000 into 10 plus 1 is 11 by 10 whole to the power 4 on doing this we will be getting the amount that is a equals to 5000 into now 10 to the power 4 will be 10,000 and 11 into 11 into 11 into 11 that is 14,641 so we will write down 14,641 we are getting when we are multiplying 11 4 times now 3 times 0 will get cancelled with each other on final solving we will be having 5 into 14,641 that is 73,205 now when we will divide it with 10 we will be exactly getting one place of decimal that is 7320.5 that means 50 paise now this is the amount and you know the what is the formula of ci the formula of ci is amount minus principal so on subtracting we will be getting the ci 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 3 minus 0 is 3 and 7 minus 5 is 2 so the CI is 2320 rupees and 50 percent. If this principal is rupees 6400, time is 3 years and the rate is 61 by 4 percent per annum, which you can also write down 6 for the 24 plus 1 is 25 by 4 percent. Before that, calculating compound interest, you should know the amount. The formula of amount is principal 1 plus rate by 100 whole to the power n. Now here it is nothing means 1, 25, 1 is 25, 25, 4 is 100. So we are having 6400, 1 by 1 plus 1 by 4 for the 16. Now we are having 6400, here the LCM will be 16 and 16 1 is 16 plus 1 1 is 1 whole cube. So the amount will be equals to 6400 into 16 plus 1 is 17 upon 16 whole cube. Now that will become 6400 into what is the cube of 17? 17 into 17 is 289 and 289 into 17 is 4930 upon 16 into 16 into 16. So this will become 16 4 the 64. Now again 400 will be divided by 16. How much? 400 divided by 16 is 25. So again it will go along with 25. So finally we are having 25 into 4913 upon 16. First we will multiply. We will multiply 25 with 4913 and we will get 1,22,825. Now we will divide it with 16 and we will find out to the nearest amount of passe. That means 1,22,825 we will divide it with 16 and we will calculate the value nearest to 3 place of decimal that is 7,676.562. This 2 is not going to make any kind of difference for this. So if we will take correct to 2 place of decimal it will remain 7,676.56. 
Now this is the amount and the question is asking to find out the CI. You know the formula of CI? The formula of CI is amount minus principal. Principal is 6400.00 passive. On subtracting 6 minus 0 is 6, 5 minus 0 is 5, 6 minus 0 is 6, 7 minus 0 is 7, 6 minus 4 is 2 and 7 minus 6 is 1. So what is the required CI? 1276.56 passive. Yes, question number 7 is going to be done in 3 steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3. First, we need to find out CI that is compound interest. In second step, we need to find SI that is simple interest. And in third step, we need to find out the difference between compound interest and simple interest. Now, time here is given something different. That is 1, 1 by 2 years. For full one full year, we will take 10% because 10% rate is annually. Then what it will be for half yearly, we need to divide it half for taking it as half yearly for rest of the half year. That will be equal to 2 fives of 10. So 10, 5% we are going to take rest of the half year. So now we will apply the formula of amount that is amount equals to principal 1 plus rate by 100. This is for one full year and for rest of the half year the rate percent will become 5%. So now here 0, 0 will get cancelled and we know that 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 0 are 0. Here it, it is nothing means 1. So it will become 8000 into here it is nothing means 10, the LCM will be 10 plus 1. Here also it is nothing 1, then the LCM of 1 and 20 is 20, 20 ones are 20, 1 ones are 1. Now let us solve further, that is amount equals to 8000 into 10 plus 1 is 11 upon 10 into 21 upon 20. This 0, 0 is going to be cancelled, 0, 0 is going to be cancelled and half of 80 is 40. So we will multiply 40 into 11 into 21 so that we can get what is the value of amount that is 9240 rupees now i got my amount now for ci i need to subtract it with the principal that means the required ci is 1240 rupees this is the ci now let us go ahead for si so for taking out the difference here we will write down our ci value is 1240 in the third step but first before taking the difference we need to find out the SI the formula of SI directly we can put that here 1 1 by 2 years can also be written as 2 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2 years and the formula of SI you know that that is P into R into T whole divided by 100 now this 0, 0 will get cancelled, 0, 0 will get cancelled, 2, 4s are 8, 2, 0s are 2, 0s are 400 into 3 is 1200. So I got my SI as 1200 rupees. So if you want to take out the difference, the difference will be of how many rupees? That is equal to 0 minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 0 is 4. That is the difference between CI and SI of the given question is 40 rupees. Question number 8 is Pritam Singh gave Kundan rupees 1250 on compound interest for 2 years at 12%. How much less should have Pritam have got if he would have given it to Kundan for 2 years at 4% simple interest? What is the difference between CI and SI? So first, we will know what is the amount for calculating CI that is principal 1 plus rate by 100 whole to the power n. So that is 4 3s are 12 and 4 25 is 100. Here it is nothing means 1. So 1250, 25 will be the LCM. 25 ones are 25 plus 3 ones are 3 whole square. So that will be equals to 1250. 25 plus 3 is 28 upon 25 ka whole square. That is equals to 1250 into what is the square of 28? The square of 28 is 784. So you write down 784 upon 25 into 25 now 25 5s are 125 25 zeros are 0 here 25 2s are 50 so what is the amount the amount is double of 784 now what is double of 784 double of 784 is 1568 so we got our amount the amount is 1568 this is the amount for calculating the ci we need to subtract the amount with principal and how much we are going to get 8 6 minus 5 is 1 and 5 minus 2 is 3 318 rupees we are getting as ci so we will write down in the third step that our ci is rupees 318 
now we will go towards ahead in the second column that is for si for si you know that that is a simple formula si equals to 1250 into 2 into 4 by 100 00 will get cancelled 5 2s are 10 carry forward to 5 5 are 25 5 2s are 10 2 and 2 will get cancelled and 25 4 is 100 so we got our SI, our SI is rupees 100. Now we need to find out the required difference, how much less he is going to get if he is going to give in SI. So required difference will be equals to CI minus, required difference will be equals to CI minus SI, that is 318 minus rupees 100. And how much amount we are getting? 218 rupees. This much of difference he would have got less amount if you would have given the money in terms of simple interest. Harish borrowed Rs. 8000 from a bank at 10% for 3 years at SI. SI means simple interest. And he is lending the same amount to take chance at 10% for CI at 3 years. Definitely in sub transaction mein Harish ko gain hoga kyunki wo SI ke roop mein bank se le raha hai aur CI ke roop mein take chance ko de raha hai. To in sub pure transaction mein se gain kitna ho raha hai. To let us first find out what is the SI amount. The SI amount is 8000 t into r into t by 100 simple so ye to cut gaya 00 ab ye ho gaya 8 3 are 24 240 into 10 is 2400 nikal raha hai hamara si that is simple interest inke beech ka difference jab hame pata chalega ca aur si to hame pata chalega kitna gain ho raha hai so next we will find out first amount then only we can calculate compound interest that is principal 1 plus rate by 100 Hold to the power n. Now 0, 0 is going to be cancelled. Here it is nothing means 1. So that will be 8000 into 10 will be the LCM. 10 was a 10 plus 1 was a 1 whole cube. That is 8000 into 10 plus 1 is 11 by 10 whole cube. And the cube of 11, you know that the cube of 11 is 1331 upon the cube of 10 is 1000. So all 3 zero is going to be cancelled. And when will we multiply 1331? With 8, we will get the answer that is 10,648. So, this is our amount. Nikla hai. So, when we will subtract amount with principal, we will get the CI that is compound interest. Compound interest is equal to amount minus principal. So, let us see how much is the difference. 8, 4, 6, this is 10, 10 minus 8 is 2. So, the required CI we are getting is, we will note it down over here. We are getting the CI as rupees 2648, whereas the SI we are getting is rupees 2400. In case of difference, we will tell how much he has gained. So we will write down, yeah, his gain is equal to 2648 minus 2400. What is the difference? 8, 4, 6 minus 4 is 2. So 248 rupees gain he has got in all the transactions.